Hello Sagittarius! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, we're using Gilded Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti, text by Barbara Moore. On the bottom here, the website Llewellyn.com, and there's some social media links. Feel free to check out whatever you're interested in. Just freeze frame, of course, if you need to. If you need to. Supportive Oracle Cards. Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. This one is illustrated by Jesse Reich, and there's a website at the bottom, hayhouse.com. Feel free to freeze frame if you would like that spelling. Okay. Sagittarius. Interesting, interesting. Let's see what we got here. I'm excited here, but let's see. So... It seems like you're going through a stressful time, but that can can that can end if you want it to. I mean, <laughs> part of me goes, well, why wouldn't you want it to? Depends what you feel your responsibility is, responsibilities are, and I feel like that's what's kind of hinging on this. Whatever the situation is, your purpose has been served. Not in a bad way, but kind of like you don't have to feel like you have to stick here any longer. You've done, you've made your difference. You've moved things forward. You've created something here that wasn't there before. Um, you can, If you want to, you can move on with a clear conscience in case that's something holding you back. You can definitely move on because you've done what you needed to do. Um, there seems to be this feeling that, like, I have to stay and I have to keep the fires burning. I have to stay and make sure this keeps working out. I owe this. I owe that. I have to do this for this person. I have to do that for that person. If you step back and really kind of deconstruct that, your feelings are definitely valid, so we're not saying they're not, but do you really have to do that, or are you just trying to make peace with something, and are you blocking yourself in to a situation you really don't want to be in? It's almost like you're trying to find reasons to suffer, like, I have to suffer with this, I have to, and this is why I have to suffer with this, but you might be constructing those reasons on your own to make peace with what you're dealing with. Keep that in mind. It's just a thought. If it doesn't make sense to you or you're like, no, I don't think that's this, then move on from it. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's get a little bit more context on that. I thought I was done with that card. Uh, Four of Cups reversed. It's not about what you don't want. And the Strength reversed. It's kind of like you're a free energy. You're free, you're expansive, you, you do things, you make changes, you're changing energy. If you're in a situation where you're not allowed to change and grow, that's not where you're meant to be. Um, okay. All right, we added that little piece, I think we're good. The stress here is like going towards your next level of success. It's a, it's very ironic. Because it's like, for some reason, you might be feeling guilty or you might be feeling like, you know, like, oh, I can't do that because of this. Or if I do that, this person's going to be upset with me. Or if I do this, this isn't going to work out at this job. Or if I do that, this might have a problem. I'm getting like, the, the next level of success is waiting for you. And there's stress holding you back from it. Um, you might need a vacation. Sagittarius. <laughs> uh, and I say that and like you might need a vacation from a vacation. Um, you literally need one where you can just not worry about other people or getting things done or picking things up or whatever it is you do because Sagittarians, the ones I've seen, just they keep moving. They just keep moving. And having a vacation where you don't have to take care of things, you can just enjoy the day. Maybe you're going to keep moving and keep doing what you need to do, but it's more of an enjoyable, wondering expansive fun way versus like taking care of other things looking out for other people doing other people's work stuff like that um you might need a vacation from a vacation i just keep getting that too and i keep saying that in the sense of like are you going on vacation with people that you feel like you need to take care of and when you go on vacation with these people do you take care of them because maybe you need a vacation from that too <laughs> i'm just saying um you need a moment where you can just step away and just like not worry about anybody else. Just you. Just you. And the way you worry about yourself is the biggest worry is like, what, what am I going to have for dinner? And that's it. 
Um, if that's doable for you, I highly recommend you find a way to make that happen. Especially if you have friends and you can maybe take a weekend to yourself, maybe leave on a Friday, come back on a Sunday night, if that's possible, where you just don't have to worry about other people. Turn off your phone, turn off your social media, just don't connect to it. Let the let certain people know, like, FYI, I'm not going to be available. I'm turning off my social media, or at least my connection to it. I'm turning off my phone. I'm not looking. So whatever's there is just I'm not dealing with it. Because there's a balance coming forward. Um, let me get a little clarification before I pick this up just to make sure we go the right direction here. Hierophant on its side... Eight of Pentacles. So, the way I read numbers, just to be fair, nine is the end. That's how I read it. Some people see ten as the end. That's not how I read that. But just to be fair, the reason I'm saying that because when I see an eight, I'm like we're coming close to the end of something. That's not always the case, but there's like the there's an ending kind of looming here. Um, the balance of this situation is coming forward very briskly um i don't want to say it's like a violent ending here but there could be um there's a very strong push coming forward it just seems, seems to come in things have to be dealt with um you're a very dynamic energy you serve a purpose um you're you're meant to help you're meant to move things forward and the situation you currently have is not honoring that um there's a pressure coming in, and I'm getting this with it, which it says Isis inspiration. To me, that's a goddess energy. This is like the universe energy, if you will, kind of saying, listen, you're trying to give yourself reason to stay somewhere, that it's time for you to move on. We're actually trying to make it uncomfortable for you, so you move on, and you're not kind of going with us on this, so we're going to throw a curveball here at you. Um, <laughs> I'm listen I'm just reading the cards I'm not saying the, the universe is kind of saying no you're meant for more Sagittarius and you're not you're not doing what you need to here like you did what you need to here you needed other places you're an important person you're very dynamic and you're needed elsewhere and the curveball is flying right at you um nothing here is going to go that bad but something else you're meant to be some, somewhere else. Something else needs you. And that energy is moving forward. This is what's out there for you, the Ace of Cups. and the there's, You're protected. You need to move forward. It's time for you to move forward. The universe will take care of you. Um, for the, those of you this is really going to hit with, I feel like you've already seen the signposts where there's opportunities out there for you. There's possibilities for things to go your way one way or another. Whatever reason you you have for not making this change, I feel like the answers about how that will work out in your favor, even though you're saying this won't, has come to you. Um, so if those things are happening for you and you're seeing the reasons why you should move and you're just kind of saying, no, no, I can't because so-and-so won't be able to handle this and then you're finding out, wait, maybe they can, maybe I'm underestimating them. And you're like, no, yeah, but but then this situation won't flourish and then you're saying, oh, that person can do it. And this person, maybe it'll take two or three people to do what I did, but they have the people who can. Um, the energy's there. There's something really good, like there's something really good out there for you. Um, you're holding yourself back from your own success. You got stress holding you back. You're holding yourself back from literally success. Like I said that before with this, but that stress card is saying, it's kind of saying like you're buying into something that you shouldn't be buying into. Maybe other people have started this ball rolling. Maybe other people are trying to get you to feel like there's too much stress here. Or like you can't, you can't, you can't. But if that's holding you down, they're saying you're buying into it. And you know that that's not you. That might be another reason. If you're feeling depressed, especially if you lately you've been feeling very run down and depressed, that might be one of the reasons. Maybe you're buying into some other people trying to control you, and you're more of a free spirit than that. And that control is just sucking the life out of you, making you feel very depressed and sad. Especially if that's really not a normal feeling for you. Maybe more normally you're bubbly and free, but this control is just holding you down and just really 
making you feel sad, making you feel depressed, making you blah, 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 blah. I shouldn't probably use the term making you, but the result is that you're having this sadness feel. If you release yourself from that, it just kind of looks like a release card almost. I know it's like a protection, but the way that person looks, like they're freeing themselves, they're releasing it. They're like, listen, I can't do this anymore. And when they release themselves, which is you, if you release yourself from this, you can have this Ace of Cups. What is in your Ace of Cup? What do you want? Because it's there. Um, ironically, too, I don't know what's holding you back because this is the general read. But if you do step forward and you take that that jump forward, you do have support. People will help you. People will look out for you. The right people, and maybe that's another thing, um, people who support you are the people that you should have around you. People who hold you back, you might want to make note of that. And kind of think about that. Kind of like, mm -hmm. who are these people? What roles do they have in my life and should they? Just something to look at. Because the ones who support you, are, they know better. They know this is how your energy works. I feel like maybe you might be surprised. You may think certain people might be wanting to hold you back. But if you move forward, they may be one of your biggest supporters. And kind of like, yeah, this is what you do, Sag. I knew sooner or later you would. Let's do it. Let's get your next level of success. Let's go. I'm here for you. I support you. They seem to, the people who really know you know they have to accept this trait about you. Whether it matches them or not, it's not a bad trait. It's a very good trait for you, whether it matches them or not. What is this? There's a lot of doors um, opening up all at once. And I keep seeing like this person go in and out of doors. Like they're going in this door, out the door, in this door, out the door, in this door, out the door. And it makes me feel like there's a, whatever the situation is you're getting into next, um, it does feel like a maze. It's one of two things. The next situation's a maze. It doesn't seem to be a problem for you. You'll either be there until you figure out the maze, or this is an evolving maze, which is actually good for you. Because the more there is to discover, the more it keeps changing, the more it keeps you there, the more you get to do. Um, the Knight of Swords, I want a little bit more information about that, because I keep seeing like this maze of information. The Devil card and the Nine of Cups. This is ironic, because sometimes the devil card is not a bad card. I know that not everybody believes that, but I'm telling you, not always a bad card. There's something that wants to be in control of this situation. The next situation you're going into, something wants to control it. It's, it's uncontrollable. It's like trying to control the sea, the ocean, whatever you want. You, you can't control that. It's going to do what it needs to do. Um, your influence on this situation, like, you're more of like, oh, hey, there's a weather storm coming in, or hey, there's some, this is going on over here, or you gotta watch out for that. You constantly are discovering new things. Like, if you think of the ocean or the sea, whatever you want to call, whatever body of water, I think it's determined by the size, but anyway, um, there's never, you're never gonna find everything. It's like, you're never gonna find everything. There's always new places, new things, new levels to discover, new things going on here, new things going on there. Um, you are working with an energy that wants to control things, but feels more in control if they just let you do what you need to do. I feel like this is a heads up. Whatever you're going into next, there's an, there's somebody has the need to control. You just got to like prove to them as soon as you can. The more they let you just fly freely, the more control they have over the bigger picture. And if they see that, they'll stay out of your way. Keep that in mind. That energy could be a slippery slope. It could be a double-edged sword. Because if it doesn't feel like it's getting what it wants, it could try to control you. We don't want that. Make sure you're working to that energy's favor. Make sure you let that know that like the more you let me fly free, the more I can offer you control in these other areas. And they will leave you be. As long as you keep serving them the way they want to be served. The devil is a fickle character, but you know... If you know how to play with the devil, the devil can be quite advantageous. Um, ironically, sometimes the devil talks about fair compensation, which I know 
It may not seem like that's the case, but it's an Earth. It talks about an Earth energy, sometimes talks about Capricorn. If it feels like it's getting what it wants from you, as long as you keep sticking up for yourself, and it realizes as long as it lets you fly free and it keeps compensating you accordingly, it keeps getting what it wants, it won't want to lose you, and it'll keep giving you fair compensation to make sure it gets what it wants. Keep that in mind. So you got to make sure that you communicate correctly and you communicate what you want. Um, you need to be able to fly freely and you need to get fair compensation as you see fit. I feel like as long as you give them the value that they want, it'll balance out well. Just keep that in mind going into this next situation. Are we good? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.